Hooray for me. I got to have a tofu burger with red peppers that seem to overwhelm pretty much everything else that I put on there. I barely even noticed the ramps or the seasoning on the tofu or... Well, I can't say I didn't notice the slices of bacon that I put on there or the pickles, but... So, for this week's challenge for my work project, it was... I had to use two specific ingredients. Ramps, which are apparently a much more intense type of scallion, at least in regards to flavor. My mom actually used some of the leftover ramps for nachos and said that she could smell it just about everywhere, which... If you're looking for an extra kick in your nachos, definitely use that for sure. And, as you may have noticed, the big mystery ingredient was tofu. I would have chickened out on this week's challenge, but I made the mistake of signing on to it without really knowing what the ingredients were going to be. And I really didn't have much choice because they basically said, for this week's mystery challenge, let me know if you're in and we'll send you the details. And I'm just like... Well, oh, fuck me. If I don't like this, this is gonna be uh it's gonna be a real doozy, and sure enough it was. And when my boss, who was so gracious to actually drop off the ingredients at my house, he dropped off the ingredients at everyone who was involved with the project. I have nothing but gratitude to him towards that. He just he looked at me and he's just like, good luck with tofu, because he knows that it's not really something I have a ton of experience with cooking wise or prep wise. I'm a breakfast cook. It really, I don't serve tofu. I serve tempeh that's marinated to allegedly taste like bacon. So I just basically looked at him and it's just like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll think of something. And you know what? He, he laughed his ass off on that. So I'm sure, I'm sure he knew I was going to have fun either way. And originally I had no real plan. My, Eventually, I settled with the idea of trying to make pasta aglio olio from uh, Chef because I really wanted to try that. And last week, I didn't get to make a video on it, but I actually caramelized my own sugar to make brittle dust for strawberries and whipped cream. And that felt like a huge accomplishment if I, for whatever, I don't know why, I just couldn't film it that week for whatever reason. But I had a ton of fun with that. I thought I'd go for another Chef recipe like that. And then... I tried looking up other recipes where tofu and ramps were basically key ingredients, but every online page I went to is just like, stir fry, stir fry, stir fry, stir fry, stir fry. And I'm like, there's got to be more than one fucking thing if I got ramps and tofu as my mystery ingredients. And my dad decided, well, why not turn it into a burger? And I... Thought that would be an interesting idea anyway, so I looked up an instant recipe. It had the exact ingredients I showed you, and I'm like, this is going to be an easy sell. I like that. It did say that it could fool meat lovers in regards to its taste, which whenever they say that, realistically, that's a 50-50 shot at best. So I kind of knew that going in, and in the end, that actually turned out true, because the other one that I made for my dad, he... um. He thought it was fine. We kind of sort of agreed that we should have let it marinate for a little bit longer because that whole 30 minutes at best thing, that's exactly what we did because we had errands, we had other stuff to get done, and we really wanted to do this together. But in any case, what he said to me was actually kind of true. Texture-wise, it had the consistency of scrambled eggs or a Western omelet, which, you know, was which isn't really new territory for us. We make Western omelets for ourselves all the time. But we would have expected, with all the soy sauce, with all the oil and hot sauce and syrup, you'd think we, were, we would be able to taste all of that, let alone just the soy sauce. But in the end, that was the ingredient that really stuck out, which shouldn't be a huge surprise. It's the most amount of tablespoons put into it but you'd think the other stuff would at least offset it but that really didn't happen with me and I feel ashamed of saying this but I didn't actually finish my burger I I didn't even get close but on the plus side I can at least say that I tried it and probably never will again well, in any case, guys, thank you very much for watching stay tuned for more movie reviews on this channel I'm going to 
initially planned to do back and forth reviews of movies I missed in 2019 with my DreamWorks series because there's only four DreamWorks hand-drawn films. So I feel like I can even things out content-wise and movie-wise for sure. And if you want to see more cooking videos of my weekly black box challenge for work, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe. Take care.